Hello everybody, it is Saber Wolf, and welcome to another stream, Friday Night Dice, where a bunch of people get together and play Dungeons and Dragons almost almost every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on Saber Wolf Gaming, that is 2M's on Gaming, where you can join us live in the chat. But if you want to see the uh, slightly edited version or the podcast versions, please head over to youtube.com slash saberwolf18, or it's also available on Spotify. Well, just, just search Friday Night Dice on Spotify, and you can play it off there. Now, the video version is there on Spotify as well, but please, do not watch it in the car, okay? <laughs> just listen to it, and we'll go from there, all right? With that out of the way, please, we'll just head over to the Arrest of the Crew here. Hello, everybody. How are you doing tonight? Hello. Are you there, ladies? <laughs> I'm here. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> Episode three. Oh my god, already? Yeah, campaign four. Uh, it's been pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we're about. You guys are about to level up tonight, though. That's something good to look forward to. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more thing. Sorry, one more thing I forgot to mention. If you uh, want a cool fundraiser, because this is we're coming into the Thanksgiving time of year, giving thanks. Uh, if you want to, please head over to uh, Extra Life, extra hyphen life dot org. Search Saber Wolf on there, where 100% of your donations can go to uh, sick children. Uh, specifically, donations under my tag, which is Saber Wolf, goes directly to the um, goes to the Connecticut. Uh, children's hospital uh so be sure to head over there and also that'll take you right to the twitch page as well so you can watch on twitch and be able to donate on the same page so kind of cool all right so last where we left off uh you all had a chance meeting uh in the street because due to a explosion that happened in a nearby jail and you ran across some uh kobolds and a and a uh, giant fellow or fillet? Fillet? I don't know. <laughs> check. Yeah, a check. Uh, and we're able to dispatch the kobolds, but not her. And then through investigations throughout the city, you arrived to a uh, waterfall where you found this uh, same lady, a shien, and you were able to dispatch her, I guess, possibly her minions and herself. But... You sit there now, pretty, pretty well wounded, pretty spent at this uh, top, of this uh, waterfall area here. Uh, let me get to. Oh didn't no! Didn't we? Um, didn't we check the area? Uh, yes, he did check the area. Um, there is a door there. Here, let me skip back to the waterfall map. Where is it? There it is. Come on. There you go. Somehow my ordering of my uh, folders get messed up. But anyways, we're back here underneath the waterfall where the battle has ended. Um, you did, you do find uh, this uh, gnome girl here, which is the uh, Cinderad. And there is a giant uh, steel door right in the, right planted into the mountainside. There's no way around or anything except through that metal door, which is locked. I sh um, I'm going to suggest we vacate, but before we do, I'd like to set a, um, not so much a trap, but I, I want to do something to the door that I would know that if it was opened or not when, when we come back, because we're definitely coming back here. Interesting. Okay. Um, does this cave end up being more than a mile away from town? Yes. Oh. Due to the uh, elevation and stuff, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Well, I... I was going to set, like, an oil trap. Interesting. Oh. You know, it's just if someone opens the door, a cask of oil falls and it <laughs> lights on fire. 
I mean, you could technically set that up as an actual trap trap, not necessarily a magical trap. Oh, no, I mean, uh, that's a, different. I was also going to just cast alarm, but if it's further than a mile away, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so, so looking right here, right, I see these lines. You see how they're like, they're going like the way the door goes, right? Yep. Is this like in a door? Is this like in a dirt? Like the is the floor like dirt? Yeah. Or... So the floor is kind of like dug up dirt and stuff. There's definitely some bold, little rock boulders, like mixed big, larger, not boulders, but you know, like larger you know, rocks. You know how right. like like okay, you know so glacier, like glacier, you know, gravel kind of thing. You know, you know what I mean. I, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to do something real simple, right? So you see these lines right here. Right, how they're how they're going, like the way the door opens, right? Mm -hmm. I just want to like kind of make a line going from the top here to the bottom here. You know, like make make like a line through it, so that way, if somebody opens the door, I would kind of see that that line got broke. You know what I'm saying? I see. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I mean, is that possible, or in, in this, uh, you know, the way this is? Uh, yeah, it's definitely possible to gouge, gouge something or kind of dig something through there where the door will definitely kind of refill it in or something, yeah. Okay, that's what I want to do. Yep, that's possible. All right. I'm done. I'll do the oil thing, just in case. Can somebody let me out of these damn chains? Uh, I thought we did. I thought... Yeah. Um... I'm just picking up where we left off. <laughs> we, we never got to that point. Oh, all right, well, Sure. Yeah, well, we ran over by maybe. like a half an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> Which does make up for the half an hour we land early the first one. So, hey, we bounced out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, is anyone, does anyone else have paid stools or is it just me? Or did we find a key on somebody? We're going to find a key. We haven't checked scan. Uh, I'll look for a key real quick. For for the What's that from what I'm reading. For, for the chains? Well there's no chains over it. It's just the lock is I'm talking about Nima. Oh Nima oh, oh yeah 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 there's yeah she has I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about the door. Uh yeah, so the key is on skin. Okay. When you unlock her and ask her what happened. Well, these idiots try to take me and try to uh, get me to tell them how to do this, uh, all this uh, black powder stuff. Because, you know, mine is the best black powder in this whole uh, whole area, you know. So it's very, very Ooh. valuable. But these people wanted to take advantage of it and do their own thing with it. We heard. Uh, so I mean, we went yeah, to your they, house. They got to do all that stuff. Where did they get the explosives? Uh, the explosives from? Because they, you know, kind of let her know what happened in town. She and uh, how we came to be here. She points over the table that she was chained to, right over here. She goes, goes. The black powder is right here in this cavern. It's me. I mean, they they made me do this. Understand, understand. Um, is there any black powder that we could? take to use because i'm thinking we might have to blow up that door <laughs> i don't know if i believe her oh sure sure there, there was a couple of uh there was a couple a i just want to get the name right <laughs> for the uh yeah there's some uh there's a couple of seeds there on the uh desk if you want to grab a couple of them who's our um is it nick is nick the one with the uh the pistol? Nope, that's nope. me. Oh, that's you. So uh, give it to somebody who knows what to do with gunpowder because you don't want me using it. Okay, I will. I'll pick up the stuff I recognize in here. Okay, so she points over, so she picks up these two kind of like uh, brass, like kind of knobs, but they're, they're cut, they're carved into a form of an acorn. And um, and there's and on the back of the acorn there's like a 
almost like a knob on the back of it that you could twist. So you can set a timer, almost like a timer to it to go off. Mm -hmm. They're very, very small, but uh, they can be uh, pretty mighty. And here, I'll give you oh, what nice. they look like. And that is what they look uh, like. This is what you put in, inside the Vox Synthers, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. This My black powder is very, very potent. It's equal to, you know, just a little bits of it can equal to almost an entire keg of that crap they put that back in uh, in Hopper Duke. But no, mine is the best stuff and is more potent than that sh stuff. <laughs> almost but best you time, didn't, <laughs> You didn't give him the recipe, though, did you? Oh, hell no. I wasn't going to do that for them. But unfortunately, they had me put me to uh, a little bit of slave labor here until uh, you all kind of freed me. All right, I understand. Let's get back to town and maybe get back to um I forgot his name. I don't have his name written down. Um Bram. Graham. No, Do you Bram know B. <laughs> Do you know uh if there's more of them past the door? Oh that there's the mines are filled with them, unfortunately. Oh. Then yeah, it's definitely better we go back. Uh how many seeds did she give me? Uh, two. So you have two seeds. Uh, you get to, you can throw them up to thirty feet away. On an action, you can have a detonate uh, a, a one turn later if you want to. Um, the uh, creature when you throw them, the creature has to succeed on dexterity saving throw of ten. Um, and uh, on a failed save, they take one d eight bludgeoning damage and only half as much on the successful one. So it's not much damage, but it can be like a little bit of like an AOE kind of effect to it because it does blast. Uh, within a one space radius around it, so. Okay. So it's it's a decent. It's like a little. It's like an itty bitty hand grenade. So it's this, a little tangent. Somebody want to check out the tent and the uh, table to see if there's any monies or. Did uh, we check the bodies? Right, I thought we checked. Did did we? No, we did kind. We kind of ended. We had to end it because we were running heavy. We can okay. do a little searching if you want. Then, uh, go ahead and make an investigation check if you want to search the bodies. I didn't find myself. Did I click on it? I don't know. Yeah, I, it's, it did pop up. It's really loud. So sad. Mm, not very good. Um, unfortunately, you don't find too, too much. I mean, they had the short swords and the uh, crossbows that you found earlier and all the other kobolds. Um, you do find about 10 gold on Shken, uh, just basically pocket money. That's really about it. So about 10 gold. Um, okay. Setting up all the climbing gear in the background. Yeah. I'll go check out the tent. Okay, so go ahead and make another investigation because you're searching the tent separately. You haven't rolled yet, so. I guess guidance Thank on you. Uh, Thank you. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll let you do it. <laughs> you kind of um, cast it down on yourself already, but that's okay. I'll, 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 let, you, I'll let you do it. No, it didn't show up here. Why not? Uh, is it? Oh, there it goes. Oof. Yeah, guidance ain't going to help much. Uh, you do find a pile of stuff in the corner that looks like climbing gear, maybe? Are uh, you not sure? I just drag it out. Hey, does anybody know what this is? All right, we need who is the investigator in this group? <laughs> I am, sadly, but I failed. Yeah, she has a plus six. <laughs> she just rolled low. Yeah, I'm going to stop investigating. I don't want to investigate anything. I really don't. <laughs> Hey, uh, I found some of this crap. Uh, don't know what it is. I'll go over it later. Just let's just carry everything we can and go. Let's get out of here. All right. So you head back to town? Yep. What climbing gear this time? Oh, you broke up, Sean. What was that? Um, not just me thinking now that I need to change my voice settings. Oh, okay. Well, you sound good now. Uh, it's, I brought the mic closer. Ah, that'll do it. All right. 
It's but, not it yeah, it's not the kind of mic I can keep closer though. Yeah. Maybe turn the sensitivity down. Or yeah, sensitivity down. up rather, rather up. I mean not down up. <laughs> so it catches it's your voice sooner. Right? Sorry? It's a pretty long walk, right? Yeah, so it's probably, well, it's over a little over a mile, so yeah, it's gonna take a, it's gonna take a few minutes. I'll uh, I'll go through whatever we picked up while we were. Okay, uh, you do find a, a set of climbing gear. It's about six uh, pitons, uh, one about forty feet of rope, and that's about it. It's just climbing stuff. You're just climbing stuff. Um, if you, as you were walking out, you could tell that they would hook the pitons in these already uh, hooks on the wall face that were up a little higher. You didn't investigate the wall face, um, but they kind of hooked them in there and rung the rope along there. So you use the rope as kind of like a, a banister, almost you could say, mm -hmm. uh, when walking across there to try to keep them from slipping off the uh, side, and they would mm -hmm. take it away just to kind of hide the evidence. Right. Makes sense. Kobolds. Yeah, I'd like crafty. to escort. Uh, I like to escort her back to the. Um, what was his name? Graham. Uh, Bram. Bram. Yeah, B R. Um, yep. So he'd be way on the other side of town, over this way. I know she's gonna want to stop at home, but I'm like, uh, yeah, we have to go talk to Bram, and we'll just all of us go together. So you could explain. What happened? Yeah. Oh, well, your house might need a little cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not mention that. Uh, honestly, I probably left it cleaner than it was before the kobolds got there. True. Oh. Yeah. I got um, bored, and I like cleaning. And things need to be organized. Things need to be organized. And just to show you guys, this is... Uh, did I not have a picture... Yeah, she does have a picture. So let me just show you this. I'll get to it eventually. So underneath the uh, NPC sheets under uh, chapter zero, you should see Nima. Okay. And that's what she looks like. She looks happy. Eccentric. <laughs> well, she only cares about her uh, load of black powder. So yeah. Oh. And just remind the folks at home, uh, this is, you're talking to Bram, so you're talking to this fellow right here. So you go into the office, and he goes, oh, you're back, uh, back so soon. Uh, we did take care of your, um, issues from the other night. Um, what do we have for us here? Well, this is Mrs. I forgot her name already. Uh, Cinderella. Nima. Nima uh, she was abducted by the kobolds. We found her, rescued her from the kobolds and the, Goli the escaped Goliath. Unfortunately, we had to use lethal force because it was very dangerous. Uh, Reese is just bleeding in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I see you've been uh, quite, quite injured in this endeavor. Um, uh, so what, what of Skin? Did you, did you kill her, I assume? You could say that. Yes, definitely killed her. Mm, it's very unfortunate we're going to bring her to justice for this. Um, do you think that she was the one behind all this? Because, again, it didn't really fit her profile to do this. Oh, no. There's <laughs> definitely more to it. We... We're going to continue investigating. We just wanted to let you know that we dealt with the main issue, which was the the person that broke out of prison. Uh, Miss Miss Cinderad, would you like to uh, tell us uh, what what you know? And uh, Nima goes, uh, "Well, 
I mean, I mean, I was just like finding my black powder and this, uh, this, uh, fellow, you know, he named, named, uh, Stallmast and he, uh, he tried to kidnap me with a bunch of kobolds and they, they threw me all the way up there into this, uh, keep where my tunnels were. They kind of attacked me up there and I was like, cause I really want my black powder, you know, because he wants to like do some crazy stuff with it and he's working with the, um, with the Korean dynasty and they're trying to like do this like underground operation and uh but they took my black powder and they wanted me to do all this crazy stuff with the grenades and stuff and they're and they and she's just rambling on and on and on and on about what happened and long story short <laughs> there are dozens of kobolds in there they are working with the uh it's an underground system with the Korean dynasty and you know that there is a gnomish uh, inventor name uh, who only goes by Stallmast, who's apparently right. running the operation, and they're in the caverns that you just left. Okay. Well, I think this is a continuation, but a separate job. Hmm, indeed, indeed. But unfortunately, like I said before, we are very short handed in the city, and I cannot dispatch our soldiers into a mission that are extremely undermanned for. So is there any way you vetchers could uh, take care of this issue up north? Of course. How much more money are you going to pay? <laughs> well, I mean, I did, I did tell you, I offered you, I think it was another 150 gold, right? It was 150 before, I believe. <laughs> I think it was 200. I think it was, yeah, I think it was a little more than that. I think it was 250 or 200 or something like that. 200 sounds right, because I think there was like an even number spread between all four of us. Well, there was an odd number. It was an odd number. Like one ex one uh, extra gold piece. Uh, oh, but no, that was, was for half. It was 250. It was 250, actually. 250. So she, he just gives, well, here's the other 250. I owed you because you did successfully figure out what the investigation was. And due to uh, Nima's uh, uh, witnessing of this events and stuff, we will, of course, have to, you know, make sure that is the case. And this stall mast, whoever that is, uh, up in the mountain there is uh, trying to plot against Upper Duke. So yes, yes, yes. I'll give you some, you know, if it, if it helps, you know, I'll give you a few more gold for it. Great. Great. This isn't what I set out to do, but this sounds like fun. As of getting paid. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll talk about it later. <clears throat> And he, she's like, I have, I have other business to do with. So that now that you're taking care of that, and uh, Nima, uh, do you need? Uh, Asks if Nima needs anything or anything. She says no. Uh, so you'll he dismisses you all from the office because he has other matters to attend to. So I do let Nima know that the cobwebs destroyed one of her cupboards, but I did my best to clean everything else. <sighs> we did our best. It's fine. I will. I was expecting some uh, tomfoolery with the kobolds squatting in my house, so it's to be expected. But I will. I will take care of it. Oh yeah, your sink is broken too. I cleaned it, but there's still, you know, a hole. You know, running water is very hard to come by. You know that, right? Well, yeah. It's just. It's just the bowl that's broken. I'm sure it could be mended. However, it's better than being kidnapped. Uh, true, true indeed. That is much, much, much better situation now. Uh, uh, I, I will uh, bid you adieu and just let me know when you clean out the cavern of junk in there, please. Will do. And she storms off back towards her house. All right, so... I'm just, leaves, Mar I'm it just is... like, Marco likes cleaning. <laughs> It is now coming to evening time. Uh, the town is yours to whatever you like to do. I know you mentioned you kind of think of doing a night's rest. Uh, so what would you like to do this evening? Well, uh, first off, so we each get 62 gold pieces, and I'm going to take the extra half. Isn't that just five silver each? I'm taking the extra half. <laughs> And 
And uh, I am going to find Everyone gets that half. No, what? yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. 62 and a half. Yeah. So that's uh, five gold. Uh, what is that? Five silver, right? Yep. It's one electrum. <laughs> you and your damn electrum. Nobody uses electrum. <clears throat> so as you as we're walking away, I'm I'm keeping an eye out for uh, street urchins. For street what? Uh, you know, street kids, street urchins, the uh, orphans. Uh, I mean, well, if you want, I'll let uh, uh, Joy jump in there. Yeah, the orphanage is just right there. Oh, We're actually that... very close to it. <laughs> We're very close to the orphanage if you want to go to the orphanage. Uh, they do their best to keep them out of the streets. Yeah, I'd like to take my half gold, and I have five silver, and donate it to them. Yeah, sure. I just, I over here. Uh, it's and, right there. Okay, over here. And I'd like to right uh, ask Joy, uh, can you take us to another nice place to eat? Or not a nice place, but good food? Um, sure. So I'm just, so everybody just add 62 and a half, but if you feel like giving a half five silver to the orphanage, that would be a nice thing to do. I legit offered them half my house yesterday or the day before. So That is true. You definitely have enough room in your house because he does sleep like, you know, a good four or five people, so. I meant like all my belongings. Like half my belongings. <laughs> yeah. It, the house is a little bit empty, yeah, because you kind of been sifting through things and selling things, so. Mm -hmm. Um, so the furniture's there, but it's very bare. Um, although I will remind, uh, I will remind, I'm sorry, I had to remember all the characters here. Uh, remind Nick, now Nick, you do have uh, another five days left on your tab for sleeping at the uh, inn over here. Where oh, let's just go back. Started. Yeah, let's just go back to the inn. They had decent food there, right? It's modest food. It's not like good food, like like uh, like uh, Lady Kai would know. <laughs> Lady Kai knows the good places. But you just, yeah, uh, I, I'm for whatever. Mm, there's a cute little. Hole in the wall, right around the corner. We could go to Let's on the way it. to the end. Um, I've been meaning to ask, like, what brings you all to Hubbardook of all places? No clue. Oh, no? I just woke up here. Like, you got drunk somewhere else and woke up here? Or... That would be a fair assumption, but I can't really say. Sean, Sean you're breaking up. And... He's a robot. It's not this bad before. There you go. I don't get it. I, I think it's just a wire problem. That really sounded like a wire problem. Oh, it's a wire problem? That, that's easy to fix. Yeah, sounds like you have a, a, a stripped wire or something like that's on the cord line or something. So, uh, you have no recollection of your past, or just like the recent past? Uh, just bits and pieces. It's sort of coming back, but 
a lot is still pretty hazy. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope I hope you feel better soon. Uh oh. Uh yes, I hope I feel better soon too. Me, myself, I was a sailor by trade and I was running cargo up and down the uh, river. Mm -hmm. And I just heard stories of Humperdoke and I just wanted to visit it. It looked like an interesting city, especially with the fireworks at night. I mean, who doesn't like fireworks? <clears throat> That's fair. Yeah, fireworks are pretty. Now me, uh, I'm just traveling. Looking for something. Don't know where to find it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I met up with Reese, and he was going here, so why not? I see. Um, you can, Joy, uh, Joy, you can take them to the upper levels, which is where you live, um, the, where the nicer restaurants are, or you can nah. stay down to lower levels uh, where the cheaper restaurants are. I mean, they're, I mean, the food's okay, but it's not no, like fine dining. We're looking, we're looking for greasy. We're looking for yeah, tasty. We, we, we're looking for... <laughs> we just got out of a battle. We're, we're kind of just, yeah. Well, the inn where we started all something. can be a place that you can do that. Yes. As long as it's fucking tasty, that's all that matters. <laughs> yep, you can go back to the inn and get a meal with the bartender there if you'd like. Um, yep, I'll pay him a five silver, one electrum for a meal and a night. Oh, yes. Thank you for your patronage once again. And I do appreciate you uh, keeping the streets clean, by the way. I do appreciate that. That is no problem there, sir. I will also pay for a room and some food. Radio indeed. I ended for you, lass. Cool. Um, just food. Um, whatever you got, that's hearty. Oh, we have some uh, good uh, meats and potatoes and some nice, nice cut carrots that we just picked out early this morning. Nice. Sounds good. Any wine? Uh, does it look like we have wine? He points to the bar behind him with a full wall of uh, alcohol that has been restocked since the explosion. Speaking of the explosion, does that stuff happen normally? Well, you know, I mean, we, we have we have the uh, fireworks and all that goes up in the air and all, but not at the ground level, no. Oh, okay. We, we, try, we try not to explore things at the bottom of the Lord, you know, because it's another back battle laying around. Yeah, I mean, there's accidents in the workshops sometimes, but usually not that big. Yeah, so on the way walking into town, you see the big zero on the union sign there, you know, that says the number <laughs> of days without accidents. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, Oh, Bill. yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to eat, I'm going to drink a little wine, and I am going to take a rest, I think. Uh, Nick, what is your order? You know, just something simple, something good, and whatever your strongest ale is. Oh, well, well given the fact that you've paid an entire week, and I bet that the, your friend there did pay for, I would say that you could have pretty much the top shelf all week. What are you saying exactly? Just asking who your friend was to pay for a whole week. That was very generous. A whole week of top shelf, no less. Mm, yes, I would. Do you think you could describe them a little more? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't remember too much other than they were a tad on the shade of the blue side, like I said. Um, but uh, uh, they had some. Uh, and they were they were kind of um, almost they were very strong, you know, because they were carrying across this whole entire bar and up the stairs and all. Um, 
That's, 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 so about, she, the, that's about, you know, they also had, you know, I think they had a bit of a charcoal eye effect to them. It was kind of odd. So he was passed out and just dead to the world, basically? Oh, this guy over here pointing at Nick goes, oh, yeah, they were passed out to the world. They, did, they, had, they didn't know where the heck they were from. No response or anything. They just, care, just paid a big old uh, 300 gold right at the table here and just took them upstairs and laid them down and then left. Jesus. Jesus, yeah, that's right. What did this person, um, it was just by himself? Just by themselves with their, uh, with their, with Nick over here. I just look at Nick and say, you got some really nice friends. <laughs> I'll say. Yeah. Did he give a name? Did she give a name? This left the name of, uh, left the name of Nick, which I'm assuming is this person right here. Yes, that is definitely me. So Unless you're, you're both Nick. You remember your name. That's a good And I'm a bard. Interesting. Bad computer. Yeah. Bad. Magic <laughs> what? No, the computer did something. I didn't like it doing it. <laughs> I don't suppose I recognize that description. Nope, you would not know this person at all. So, being a sailor that sailed on the seas, would I recognize, because blue to me says water. Would, would I think I would know the race, at least? Mm, I mean, there's several, there's like, at least like, you know, three, four, five different races that have a bluish tinge to them, so it could be, it could be any number of them. Because there's, there's because I mean, there's Genasi. You have um, um, tieflings that can be blue. You have uh, Drow that have a bluish tint to their darker skin. So there's a lot of there's several races that can have a bluish tint to their skin or color. Did this person have horns? Uh, no. So I'm I'm kind of they have, they have fins like a fish. They have fins? Have you seen this race before? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, like, I just remember that he was just like a bluish tinge. Hmm. Could have been an asthma, could have been a genasi, could have been a tiefling without horns. A tiefling yeah, without horns. horns? I've never what? seen a tiefling without horns, but yeah. you never yeah, know. That's, that's not very common, though. <laughs> It could happen, but I mean, it could break off, but I don't think it's really common. But it can happen. <laughs> I'm not saying never. And we're, we're sitting around a table, I take it like a square round table, and we're going back and forth about tieflings without horns. <laughs> uh, at that moment, the bar, so bar is like, can I, can I get you guys' food? I mean, would you like to eat something tonight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Because you're kind of keeping me here. Why are you still here? Because yeah, you're asking get... me questions. That's why I'm still here. I'm trying to be a good host, you know? Oh, we forgot fur bulks, too. Could uh, be a fur bowl. Yeah. He puts his head down so he's um, walking away. <laughs> maybe we should ask about fur. Did it have fur? Did it have fur? I'm not here. <laughs> he's in the back. Cow ears? Pointy ears? Mm. So, what was that about charcoal eyes? Yeah, that was weird. 300 gold pieces? Holy crap. Yeah, seriously. Friends in high places? Not sure. Well, I hope to figure it out. Did, um... Well, it looks like we're going to be together for a little bit. Are you guys all down for going in back into the cave and seeing if we could Clear it out. Hey, I'm making money, so you know, I'm cool with whatever. I would love to see what the point of building a tunnel to Hubbardy is for the crane. 
Mm. Yeah, I can think of a few there thinking. Reese is just sitting there thinking if he uh, actually knows who the Kryn Dynasty are. I mean, you can roll a history check if you like. Uh, I'll roll it to myself. Or actually, I'll roll it to Saber. Yeah, you can roll to me. Roll to me. Yeah, uh, you, know, you know quite a bit, actually. Uh, you know they are a... They're a kingdom uh, to the eastern side of the continent of Wildmount. They are led by a uh, queen... I forget her name off the top of my head. Sorry. Um, and they... Sorry? Queen Layla's Queen. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> um, and uh, they have been kind of at war odds for the past uh, almost like a millennia with the uh, Twindalian Empire for various reasons and border disputes like that. There are more specific reasons they're at war. Um, so if you watched a Critical Role campaign, you know why. Uh, but for your recollections, you just know that they're kind of a hostile grounds with each other. Uh, most of the uh, kingdom is made up of uh, drow. Um, but note to everybody out there that drow does not necessarily mean evil in this, in this world. Uh, it's just another race in this world. However, they are very indigenous to this region. So, Woo! Exposition. <laughs> yeah, uh, but also orcs uh, and orcs, goblins, that kind of folk are also from there. Again, race is not necessarily mean you're evil. You're just that is the race that lives there. Uh, maybe the Crane Dynasty just respects the uh, power of fire here in Upper Duke. Possibly, but for sure, the winds of fortune have blown our way, and I think we should see what happens. Take the chance. Uh, the bar turner comes back up with all your foods. Uh, pretty Midas, uh, big roast with uh, potatoes and carrots and such. Uh, he does bring out uh, two loaves of bread, uh, but he does bring out an additional uh, third loaf just for Nick's side of the table. <laughs> and for alcohol, each of you get a, like a couple of wine and some uh, mugs of beer and like that, but Nick specifically gets like the triple size one, like enough big enough for a uh, Goliath size, uh, size ale for them. Huzzah! How, how do you function? So, what Nick, you, you say think I function, <laughs> Nick, you say you're a bard. Do you yes, play I the know. lute or uh. Pan flute or uh, sing or something of this nature? Uh, Nick will pull out his violin. Oh, a violin. Excellent. Not that I'm asking you to play or anything. I'm just curious. Are you asking me to play? I am certainly not asking you to play. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I just want to sit here and eat my meal and drink my wine and you know i'm sure these people around here don't want to hear you play nope Nick just okay. stares at him like what are you <laughs> insinuating uh, sir i am insinuating nothing Reese is just sitting back sipping his mug so now that we are a team, we need a team name, I think. Oh, yeah, no one made any suggestions. I asked mm. you guys a week, like, like a week ago. Yeah, you did. You, you said uh, homework. Wow. Reese, Reese F, all you guys' is homework assignment for the week. F, no. <laughs> Reese immediately yeah, suggests that. Uh, Embers of Hopperduke. You want to limit us to just Hopperduke? Yeah, that's where we're from. Doesn't have to be where we go. And no, I definitely don't. I, I, I'd like to be all over the place. Actually, no, Joy did suggest one, right? Yeah, star sailors. 
Star, Star Sailors. Well, not a bad name. I mean, you guys it's can feel keep thinking about it if you want. Pacific. That might arise. So we might do something that finds that just kind of fits us. How about team has questionable taste in music? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, you're not wrong, but I never said anything. And he takes another sip from his mug. Ooh, what about the change merchants? Mm. No. Sit there for a minute. Let me let it stew. No. Mm. Um. You guys could get back to it next week. It's fine. I just it was <laughs> something to just throw a name for you guys out there, just for something you four can just come up with. But you can come up with another time. No worries. And on that note, you notice a loud roar of crowd noise from the back of the room, kind of like coming from the basement area. What's basement? that? I think there was a basement to this place. I wonder if they're gambling or something. Uh, coming up from underneath the basement, you see a uh, very uh, heavy set dwarf going through and th kind of uh, open with a big, a uh, little bit of bag of gold through it and just th thumbing their finger through it, counting it. And a little while, a little while after, you see uh, two other dwarves uh, with a human in between them, uh, kind of dragging them up, and they look beat the crap out of. Oh. Must be a fighting Fight pit in the. Yep. There's a fighting pit. Yep. Nothing I'm interested in right now. I oh. am fragile. Wink. <laughs> I, mean, I, I could, but I don't know. Grandma told me to be humble. Is your grandma alive? Uh, if I roll over a 75 on this D100. Yes, yes, she is. Ah, well then, yes, you should probably heed her words. Well, we've had a long day, I think. Um, we have a longer day tomorrow. Yes. I have some studying to do, so we should uh, settle settle down for the night. Okay. Uh, Joy, are you going back to your normal house, or are you going to stay here with them at the inn? I have some things to pick up at home. Okay, that's fair. I, uh, I just don't see the point in wasting money. We'll meet you back here in the morning. Fair enough. Be careful. Don't get attacked in the middle of the night. Try not to. I feel like after Nick finishes his large thing of of ale, he is going to start playing music. Cool. Uh, if you want to roll a performance check, because you're if you want to do it in the middle of uh, everybody here. What was the uh, hunter quarter for, by the way? Uh, that was uh, me determining if Reese's grandma was still alive. Oh, no. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, no. So before you could start playing, you notice you look down at your violin, and unfortunately, a couple of the strings have been broken. Who? You're not able to play it. Oh, and you're drunk at that. I've been sabotaged. Performance anxiety, it happens. Uh, granted, I'm this, still here. I granted, this is the, 
Well, granted, this is the first time you pulled your violin out in the last couple days, so you really haven't had a chance to really look at it when you're first brought in, so maybe you can gather that it's been broken ever since you got dropped off here. Somebody broke my violin. I could fix it for Uh, Who mending, would do such a thing? <laughs> mending is an amazing cantrip. <laughs> I will it say. Really is. <laughs> but there are certain things that need a little bit more TLC than just saying, here, it's fixed. <laughs> I mean, it, it, mending still takes a while. It still takes a while, and it does have a resource. But, yes. Uh, I also have tinker stools, which are for fixing. That is correct. But you will need you will need like uh, actual violin string and stuff to actually uh, put it back together. Um, yes. Yeah, and then there's the fact that uh, violins are very low tolerance things. They uh, when a viol when a string snaps, you there's a reason most violin players don't restring it themselves. They take it to a luthier. Because violins are very precise instruments. I can be uh, proficient in violins in fixing them in a, in, in a day. That really is useful. <laughs> yeah. That actually would be useful. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> so I cast a uh, prestidigitation and you hear violin music in the background. Yeah, oh, it's not the same. <laughs> As I walk away, I'm heading upstairs to go to sleep. Uh, the music tails off with him. Uh, for everybody who is staying the night, make sure you mark off about... Uh, how much Electrum? Electrum is what, 10 silver? Uh, Electrum is five silver. Five silver. Five He's paid five silver, gold so piece. so gold piece. Okay. So, uh, so for Sean and Paul, go ahead and mark off a gold piece. Joy, mark off uh, five silver. Nick, obviously you're comped, so you're good. <laughs> yep. Anything else you'd like to do for the evening? I know uh, Lady Kai is going to be heading home for the night. No. Done. It's like Nick wants to fix his violin, so he is going to attempt that. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, has got just going to sleep. Yeah, just go ahead and uh, make a. Uh... I mean, you've done it before, obviously, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can, you probably have, you've looked for the tools, you have some extra string in your bag, and it's like that. You can go ahead and fix it. But you will have to probably buy some more supplies before uh, heading out again. Awesome sauce. Anything else, folks? Nope, I'm studying up. All right, everybody, you will take a uh, go ahead and take a long rest, and you guys level up. So you guys are level two. Yay! So you can you have right. the option of rolling for hit points, or you do the average, which is uh, whatever the average roll is. So d6 would be a uh, plus one. So it's so it, on a d6, I believe it's four plus your constitution. <laughs> However, whichever way you choose, you have to stick with it, though. Generally, we just do the half half of it, which is on a D6 is 4, on a D8 is 5, on a D10 it's uh, uh, 6, plus your uh, constitution. I'm just going to take average, because yep. it's generally a bad idea to roll on a D6. All right. Jesus Christ, my dog hasn't shut up in two days. <laughs> okay. 
Also, one more thing really quick before we uh, move on to the next day. Uh, Joy. Hello. Let me bring you over to here real quick. You see a black screen in front of you, correct? Actually, here, let me test this really quick. You don't see any images, right? Just um, a black screen in front of you. Hold on. I have a bunch of tabs or well, a bunch of <laughs> pages open. All tabs. <laughs> uh, no, everything's black. Okay, just, just a tester. Does anybody else see this image? What image? Uh, what image? I'm looking at the uh, map of the city. Okay, I just threw up. This is Ryan. This is my character from the other campaign. So, do you see a uh, Leonin in front of you? Yep. Okay, that was a test. I want to make sure, because I know that's something that Sean and Paul definitely would know what that is. So, okay, that was a tester. So I can get rid of that. Cool. All right. As you go to sleep that night, Lady Kai. You have the you now you're being an elf, you meditate. Mm-hmm. And you kind of feel yourself think about, you know, the past, you think about your children, the husbands you've been a part of, you know, reflect on all the things. You reflect on the day and such, and you start falling deeper into meditation, much deeper than you've ever really ever felt before. And as you're passing through this, you feel yourself pulled down almost like a white tunnel. And you see this image kind of appearing as you're going down through the waves into this whiteness into the bottom. And as you feel yourself full, you've never felt this feeling before. And it startles you. And you wake up. What the hell was that? I immediately rushed to write everything I saw down to the last detail. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Um, 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 um. Okay, 22. Um, as you're looking around frantically around for something to write your wait your image that you saw under, uh, looking around looking for the image to write the stuff down on, like the information, when you're looking down, you see in front of you the pendant that you put on, the pendant we saw at the beginning before we even started this campaign. Mm -hmm. Finish glowing and it goes dormant. What the heck? Okay. Interesting. Huh. I'll have to ask my daughter about that. Um. Okay. I'm, uh. I get up and get ready. You're just confused. <laughs> everybody it's the next morning uh you go ahead and you finish your level list up and like that if you want to take, if you all want to take a break while you finished uh trying to pick your spells and all you can um uh so lady kai you're on the upper tier deck right now i have you on the upper tier and the rest of you you're on the lower uh lower end of harper duke right now i believe still mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. Next morning, you'll wake up. It's regular morning. It's almost like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. You guys, you all went to bed at a decent hour, so no weird times of like noon like it was the last time. You know, two times ago, I think you did a sleep. Uh, the morning's yours. What would you like to do? Nick is going to shop for supplies. <laughs> yes, because that's right. You weren't with us when you uh, we all shopped for supplies last session, so yeah. I'll go with Nick 
because there's a couple things I probably want to pick up. <clears throat> okay. Uh, any particular stories you all want to go? I would like to pick up. I, I think I already handed out chalk to everybody, right? Uh, chalk, you said? Yeah. I think so. Oh, I already got block and tackle. I think I'm good. I remember you mentioning it. I don't. I don't remember you saying it. It was for us. Pick up some more chalk. Hmm. Um, if we go to a magic shop, I'd like to look in because why not? Yep. So, uh, the only magic shop you know of in the round here has the same items you had before, uh, less, uh, two health potions, I believe still has the, uh, dofting, um, breastplate. Um, I believe it had a, I forgot what the potion or scroll was. <laughs> I have to go back on the previous episode to remember what that was. <laughs> That's okay. Nothing we can afford anyway. Was it a potion of heroism? Heck no. <laughs> I don't know then. Um, I wrote it down. I just don't remember what I wrote it down. I'm finally done adding all my new spells. It was a lot. Yeah, I'm in the process. I need my uh, familiar sheet. We probably run into each other at the magic shop. I need some fucking find familiar stuff. Well, I mean, I believe there's an instant shop there uh, somewhere. In, I'm sure you can find the instance. Uh, you might want to grab well. two or three. <laughs> Familiars don't last long with this uh, crew. What do you do to your familiars? Oh, you'll see. Uh, so the incense does have a label saying uh, Fendelver uh, Incorporated. How is that even possible? <laughs> nice. It changes you different realms, my God! <laughs> wow, that that shot keeps really good. Dimensional FedEx. I know, you know. Hey, nah, I'm, I'm making a joke. I'm making a joke. I'm making a joke. Our other guys are probably really rich now. <laughs> probably. Uh... I mean, if we can afford international shipping. I mean... Let alone interdimensional shipping. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see what kind of scrolls we might have uh, done up in the meantime. It's been a couple of days. Uh, let's see here. Actually, oops, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Uh, you guys, you guys, almost done leveling up, or? Yeah, I'm done. And just need my, just need my familiar sheet. Just need a 
finished copy and texting some spell text. Uh, Paul? Yeah? Can you roll me a D76 twice? A D76? 76. Okay. So it does to roll 1D76 and do it twice. All right. 76. Okay. Just give me a second. I got to type it out. Yeah, 1D76. That's a weird one. Yeah, that's how many uh, options there are. And when I'm doing it random and having you do it so that way you don't... So I'm, I'm rolling 7D6, right? Yeah, number 76. No, no. 6. Right, seven, I'm rolling seven times a D6. No, no, you're rolling no. twice a... Here, you're rolling this twice. That twice. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I quick counted, um, so there should be around that. If you roll number 76, I hope this... <laughs> I'm just going to pick that last one. <laughs> 55, and one more time. Uno mas. Oh, interesting. And what was the other number? It is a 55 and a 16. So we get speak to plants. <laughs> Scroll. Wow, these are interesting, actually. Uh, cra crazy, crazy. So the the uh, magic shop you visited had all the stuff they had there before. You have a couple. They have two more, med uh, two more healing potions if you want them. Uh, of course, you have the armor from before. And they do have two, two level one scrolls. Uh, available to you. Uh, one is uh, protection of good against protection, good and evil. Mm -hmm. And the other one is color spray. Yeah, not that I'm interested in. Three. How much are they? Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Um, burr, 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 burr. They are 75 gold each. Thank you, mommy. No. Nah. Nothing I want. You okay. Um, let me look okay. I I have one healing potion. I I think that's all I could really want right now. Yeah, it would have been just basic supplies, so like more violin string and stuff like that. Uh, you will all notice that Reese's conspicuously late to breakfast as he is uh, stays in his room in the morning from presumably some kind of a dream, though if he did have a dream, he doesn't remember. And he's playing with playing with his new magic. It's weird. Hmm. All he could do before was turn fires on and off, but now he can Shape them, change their colors, even summon magical trinkets out of the fire. Uh, the DM, I mean, the DM, DM forgot about that dream. <laughs> control, I'm saying the control sign and press the digitation counter. Uh, I'm just uh, explaining, giving a 
narrative through line as to how a barbarian is now a warlock. Hmm. Now, what do yes. you make a speaking pact with is the question. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. What's gonna kill us in our sleep? I mean, don't worry about it. What could it be? <laughs> so I guess we're all together and we're heading out of town and back up to the... Um... Yeah, that's what I, I do. I mean, you, you were at, you were tasked to going yeah. back up to the, where the waterfall was to try to try to clean out the uh, threat. Apparently, that's the Hubbard Duke. I got the materials for Fade Familiar and cast it. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. Just make I sure everybody. Get the character sheet someday. <laughs> yeah, just everybody. If you uh, get certain supplies like that, make sure you mark off the cost of stuff from your gold and like that. I do trust you. Exactly. This is all ready to go. See, you guys, you guys, you guys are more pro players like that, so you know the cost and stuff of things. So yeah. But that's something like specific, like what specific crows is uh, the certain uh, spell shop has like that. I will figure it out and look it up and stuff. Uh, but as for like marking off costs for like incense and stuff for fine familiar, I mean, I I trust you guys will mark that off. I'm not gonna place I... it or anything. <laughs> I didn't get the pro for identify because I don't have a hundred gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you're all ready, we'll head back to the. Uh... Oh, I got to bring you all together again. Hold on. Uh, if you're all ready to go, we'll bring you back to the uh, waterfall again. Realizing I forgot to actually add hit points. I'd like to cast a spell straight away. Oops, let me clean up shop here, guys. Sorry. I'm going to cast Mage Armor straight away. Oh. Casting Mage hey, Armor straight away, huh? Yeah. Okay. It's an eight hour spell. I should be good. Okay. So there's no key for the door, but I suppose I could pick it. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> is the door locked? Yes. We were told it was. Yes. Unless that has changed and the trap has been sprung. Yeah, can we investigate the um, to see if the door has been open? Okay. Go ahead and make an investigation if you want to look at the spot that you uh, kind of put that little slice into. Hey. I really don't want to make the investigation. Guidance. There you go. 26. Yeah, so the line is still there. Apparently they did not swap out guards during the time. Apparently they're on a multi-day shift. Hmm. Since they have a tent for that reason. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see if we can open this door. Oh, uh, Nima would have told you they're on a three-day rotation. So tomorrow would have been the third day where the kobolds would have came down to uh, replace the ones that you guys killed. Ah. And I imagine the campfire is out, actually, by this point. Burned down to cinders. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine so. Okay, I'm sorry. I read the wrong line from before. Uh, you do find a key on skin that goes to the door. I'm sorry. I read the wrong line. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. You did find a key. I'm sorry, my bad. That makes it easy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open it and I <laughs> let whoever take the lead. Alrighty. Now, hopefully, this works. I do have uh, lighting on for this map, so it might be a little slow for y'all if you load. Yeah, World 20 won't even load now. Cool. All right. So I turned everything off. You guys see everything now? Well, yep. it's a huge map. Yep. Unfortunately, I got to reveal the whole map. So that is what it yeah. is. I'm sorry, all that work. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, Sean, go ahead and reload completely now, and it should load up for you. But it is uh, a big map, though. Yeah, it, it loaded up completely for me now. Okay. So, unfortunately, you guys know the uh, layout of this place. Uh, but we are going to progress as we should. Um, right. The, uh, in, the uh, Hold on. The enemies are hidden. Hold on. Back up. Uh, the enemies are still hidden on the screen, so you don't know where the enemies are. That's fine. Um, yeah. So, But you can take it room by room by room. So right now we're in this room, which is labeled uh, L4, I believe. Yeah, this is room L4. And we'll pick it up from there. Cool. But Reese is not in the back. That is not where Reese will be. Okay. Uh, and, that was only because I couldn't move my token. And our field of vision is generally like 50 feet in the ruler. I'll keep measuring as you go so I know who, who I need to show you and who I don't need to show you. Okay. So, three kobolds gambling over copper, you said? Yep, they're not paying attention to you. You guys rule pretty good in stealth, you know, except for Nick, but Nick, you guys kind of compensated for them with the two nat 20s. Yep. So, are we distracting or killing? Hmm. What do you think? Oh, I'm happy with either. What exactly were we hired to do? Just deal with them? Uh you you're hired to clear out this cavern, which by the way, it was this was a lot of this was dug out by uh Nima. Alright. Uh Reese is switching to Devil Hand X. Um, All right, it's not initiative yet. I'm just resetting it to just make sure we have it available in case we need it. Uh, I'm switching to dual daggers. Okay, get rid of that. You do, guys, do have an open round. They don't know we are there, so whatever you'd like to do. Oh, do you want to like put them to sleep or something? Uh, I can. There's only three of them. Yeah, but there's only three of them. That's what I'm yeah. saying. There's only three of them. Yeah, just... I mean, that we see, there could be more behind those doors, more just down that way or up that way or up that way. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be worth it. I only got three spell slots, so. Oh, true. And I, I already used one for Mage Hand. Or, uh, um, <laughs> Mage oh, Armor. Job. What are those yeah, rolls? Yeah. God! <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just fuck them up real quick. I just rolled, I just rolled a three, a three, and a zero. Good. <laughs> Perfection. Yeah. So they have no yeah. freaking clue you're there. <laughs> well, let's get our surprise round in and Fuck kick some ass. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right. Well, let's see who takes the initiative on this. You're in the front, so. Yeah, I mean, I can certainly pop over and, uh, Chop some heads off. Which I think I might do. 
Uh, do I want? Nah, I'll, I'll be conservative with it for now. Jumping into the fray. All right. It's only three kobolds. What could go wrong? Yep. So we'll go. Well, for this open round, we'll go Reese, then Nick, then Lady Kai, and then Marco, because that's the order you guys are 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 stacked in. Yeah. So. So Reese, go ahead. Not and, gonna uh, bother. Not gonna bother with rage. We're just gonna hand X. <clears throat> Yeah, and definitely my hand and you know seven oh. slashing damage. Uh seven slashing will kill that one. Lice. Step to the side. And let's try to dice. Slice of dice. Uh, that's it as well. And this one explodes into a fiery mass that is fortunately not very powerful. But three damage. Okay, three damage. And that is my turn. All right, uh, Nick, you're up for this open round. Cold beans. He is going to go here. One sec. Each square is five, so. Yeah, it's not letting me move. It's not letting you move? I see, like. I see you wiggle, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I go on there and it's like it's moving the whole map instead of. Oh, that's token. weird. Yeah. Oh, are you on the hand instead of the arrow? No, I'm... I'm on the arrow. Uh, do you want to just reload and see if that fixes the issue? Yeah, I might want to reload. Cause it might Seems be like there. I can move. I can move it's, you. It's like it's holding right and left click at the same time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, it's I can move it no problem. <clears throat> there we go. All right, yay! Okay, he's gonna go. Do, Roll do. twenty, everybody. It's great, but it, it's yeah. a there's a reason it's a free product. Yeah, but they're getting lots and lots of people to work on projects, so that's actually a good sign. All right, going up to that kobold. Stabby, stabby. Yep, stabby stab. Stabby stabby, hitting the head with the violin. No. <laughs> Piano like, wire around the neck. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Marco, easy there. Uh, that unfortunately is a miss. I didn't know you used a sword. It's a short sword. Uh, you do have a bonus action available if you want. Uh, Nick? Uh, yeah, actually, he is just going to be all like, he's going to use his bonus action to curse. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lady Guy's up then. Okay. Everyone's in melee with something. I can't, unless I want to stand on the, the table, I can't get a melee, so I will just throw some daggers. Alrighty. Uh, first to the guy on my right. And this. <laughs> then <coughs> to the guy on my nope. left. <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, 13 is a hit, actually. Oh, boy, for one damage. Yeah, okay. th you threw one at each one, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, Marco's up. 
Yeah, I'm going to concentrate my fire on this guy here because he's probably hurt. Okay. Oh, yeah. I should have blessed everybody. So <laughs> from there, I'm going to cast Ray of Frost. Uh, it should be a hit. 16 definitely hits. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, he's a little frostbitten, but he's okay. Still alive. <laughs> um, Level two. Yeah, I mean, bonus action just for, just because. I'm going to try to move him five feet here. Okay, that's a strength, uh, right? 14, yeah. All right. Uh, dee, 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 dee. Let's see what we got here. Uh, that'd be a big fat zero. Um, okay. You shove him off the chair into the wall. Now, you don't get a uh, opportunity to attack on that, right? No. no. No, I don't. No. All right. Now, go ahead and click your tokens. Roll for initiative after the open round. Oh, where is? That's a second. Okay. Well, that was going to be short. Reese and Kai rolled very, very well there. Uh, Reese with a 24, you go first. As so uh, gets frostbitten and thrown away from you. So step one, I chuck a hand axe at the one next to Nick. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna throw one? Okay. Yeah, why not? It's uh, it's across the table. I don't feel like bothering with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is a ten. Ooh, why that's... do I have advantage? It doesn't matter. It's a miss. No, nope, axe is gonna. No, nope, that's gonna miss his head and embed itself into the wall behind him. Uh, the other axe is going at the other kobold, the one with one hit point. Uh, throwing him? Uh, not this one. Okay, you're swinging. All right. Twenty-two is definitely gonna be hit. He's dead. Yeah. He is very, very dead. All right, he's dead. That'll be my turn. All right. Uh, let's see. Lady Kai is up. Okay. I'm just going to take out my whip and... Whip him across the face. <laughs> Who means Not that it does anything. Uh, yeah. Well, 16 is definitely going to hit. Woo. Oh, what just happened? Oh, that was very mean of you, computer. Why did you just do that to me? All right, it goes down. Hmm. I move to collect my daggers. Okay, so if you're actually going to pick up your daggers. Yeah. All right, anything else? Nope, oh, that's my turn. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I can get both, I think. All right, so on the Kobold's turn, they rolled a f uh, 15. Again, fortunately, my screen reset over there. Two more come running out of this door is here, out of the kitchen. Told you. Yeah. They're going to come after Reese because you're the closest one to them. And they're going to swing some... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I got a couple of, 
Yeah, I got a couple daggers in their hands. Uh, one's going to be a miss with a 7. The other one hits with a 21. Actually, I have a yeah, that's... sorry. Uh, no, 21. <laughs> All right, so this one hits you, the one on the right. Okay. Uh, four damage. Stabby stab. Ow. Uh, you're not raging, right? Not at the moment. All right. And that is the end of their turn. That brings us to Marco. <sighs> Why so soon? Okay, uh, Marco is going to just continue to Ray of Frost because I don't really have anything else. I'll just do the, the closest one right here. All right, what the heck? There it goes. Gotta hurt. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, two... Woo! He's still alive, <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, well, these are actually weaker kobolds, so that one's They're dead. Uh, which one did you hit? Oh, uh, the the closest one to me. This guy. Right. Well, he down. Oh, well, that's good. These kobolds are um... noticeably weaker. Nothing really else, because nobody got Booming Blade, did they? So I'm just going to sit right here, and maybe that's it. I just used Booming Blade. It just wasn't very useful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick's up on the other side of the table. Ah, oh, gee whiz. I need a fire or something that you know I could push these things into. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, oh, there's black powder everywhere in here. Yeah. You I, don't I've been say. doing fire damage. I know you have. I'm noticing. Okay, it's Nick is going to hop up on the table. I mean, it is a choice. And then down. <laughs> Basically, step over that guy to stabby stab this guy. Okie dokie. Huzzah. That's definitely there it. There you go. Ooh. Three. Three damage. <laughs> okay. He's hurt. It's like, haha, I finally got one of you. <laughs> Anything else? I mean, he'd probably try to kick him, but I think that's an action. Yeah. Yeah, you don't yeah. you're not a monk. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that'll be it. Reese is up. One of these guys just stuck you in the buttocks with a dagger. Yeah, speaking of uh I'm just gonna got I switch hands on my remaining axe and Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, he's that's not gonna have fun. Yeah, I think his strength bonus just kills him alone. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, he's taking nine damage. Yeah, he down. And then I'm going to come over next to Lady Kai and uh, retrieve my other axe. Yeah, it's over here. <laughs> kind of squeeze past it. There you go. All right. You're going to go uh, out of combat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, these doors are now open. They were thrown open by the two kobolds coming out of there. Uh, it is a kitchen that's over here. And this is pretty much a recreation dining hall over here. This is the room you're standing in right now. Are these wine uh, racks? Uh, no, they are clothing racks. Oh. Oh. Think these guys really can afford wine or actually make wine? Oh. <laughs> okay, so we have a three-way fork here. Where do we want to go? Although that <coughs> this way does look pretty dead endish. Dead endish. 
Check with your probably. Check the dead end dish, just in case something doesn't pop up behind us. Yeah. Just real quick. Yeah, pop up there. Quick scan yep. of this dead end dish. All right. As you guys are walking up, there is a kobold standing on guard duty right there. And you also see somebody on the back wall uh, chained up. Hot. Uh, fingers. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's AI art. You have to look past the fingers. Oh my god. There's a there's a bodiless hand right there. <laughs> And the person oh, no. is alive and awake, and you do recognize them. Oh, is that that? Uh... Who does? Y'all. That's the uh, bounty did? hunter, right? Is that the bounty she hunter? It does. She does bear a very much resemblance to uh, Yinra. Oh, she got hotter. 15, 20, 25. Um, and which cell is she in? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I revealed her on that screen. I am sorry. She is right there. Ah, that's actually unfortunate. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, uh, this kobold 30. is aware of you. Uh, go ahead and we'll roll off, see who goes first here. Puh. <laughs> Never mind. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. <laughs> I rolled a four. I rolled a one. So just go. <laughs> so I think we said I just rush him and kill him. Oh, there goes a hand axe. Uh, uh, hand axe throws a miss. Uh, one dagger does hit. Hey. That's a dagger? Wow. Yeah, next damage. Plus four. four. Yeah, four and four. Thanks. Yeah, nice. you cut, you, he looks up and goes, hold! And before you can let that, let out the there, you take him out, and they're right in the eye socket. Oh, that's exactly what I was imagining, yes. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, Yinra is up there, she is chained uh, to the wall, unfortunately. Uh, and she's kind of like, looks pretty beat up. Uh, she does not have any of her gear with her. See, this is what happens when you're stuck up and working alone. I will hover between She's like, just shut the F up and just help me. <laughs> She's very embarrassed. Say please. Please. Should we leave her? Should we leave Start her in there? The and then movie. before we... I'm just asking well, questions. First, she... I mean, she was just trying to do her job poorly, but she was trying to do her job. Uh, I'll I imagine let you out for five to... gold. <laughs> so we are rewarding bad behavior? Is that what we're doing? Don't forget, you're all the ones that pickpocketed me the other day. What? The evidence uh, I found in the jail cell, don't you forget? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, sure you don't. What evidence? Yeah. Reese's it's because I'm yeah. a tiefling, isn't it? <laughs> Nick, are you still in the other room? Maybe. <laughs> it's just way over there, just like... <laughs> you saw <it>. <laughs> No. <laughs> Look, they took all my gear. They have it, must have it stashed somewhere in this place. But they interrogated me, and I really didn't know anything, but... That's that's what we're pretty much at right now. Do you know how many we're dealing with? A lot. There's there's like at least a couple dozen kobold in this place. First of all, oh. are you hurt? Yeah, I, she is beaten to hell. <laughs> okay. I am going to put my hand on her, and my daughter will pop out from my sleeve and heal her. Okay. Let me just bring up her character sheet on my end, y'all. 
So I for a minimum healing. Yeah, she was down to a couple, a couple HP. Can you find your way out? Um, if we find I'll your gear, you we'll. Pill. I mean, I suppose, but I mean, I'm pretty much walking out with nothing right now. She has no armor, no, no weapon, no nothing. Um, Wouldn't right, that be well, a learning lesson? You could follow I mean, us if you like. Right call it, call it occupational hazard, okay? I mean, yeah, she could also just accompany us and use the kobold's weapons to defend herself, not to attack. Do not. You know. Yeah, she can quickly pick up the uh, the uh, short sword that the kobold had right here. Uh, we didn't check the kitchen area to see if anything was in there. Um, and we could continue on. Um, okay. yeah. All right. Glad we checked this way. I'll let you... Um... Hold on. Details... <laughs> There, I'll let you be able to control her now. Ah. And I'll put in this here. And just so you know where her current status is. Come on. HP. Some of the kobolds have crossbows, right? <laughs> Yeah, she's at seven HP right now. Jesus. Yeah, she was she she beat her up. She's sitting at two HP before you healed her. She's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll put her in front of me just in case uh somebody tries to attack me. Wow. Come on, you. We don't have to stoop to her level. I'm thinking you should, this. You should, in should my have head. you should have full control of her. I do have her sheet available if you guys get into combat. So. Okay. Where would you like to go? Yeah. Because you have this passage here. You also have these two patches down this way. Have you been taken anywhere deeper in the mine system? Uh, they caught me at some training uh, training area to the... Uh... Actually, wait. Yeah, they caught me in a training area to the uh, southwest of here. Okay. Uh... Do you have any idea where they could be keeping their stuff? Damn if I know. There's storages all over the place in here for powder, gear, food, you name it. I imagine gear would be kept near the training area, at least. Suppose. Though your gear specifically might not be, but we could at least get you outfitted better. Um, up to you guys. Okay. You have like four different directions you can travel in, really. Yep. I'm leaving it up to uh, you, so I just gave my opinion. Okay. Here's my suggestion. West is best. Wow. Okay. That doesn't really help. Oh, damn it. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's my character Ryan's thing. I can't control her. I can't click on her. Can somebody? Uh, yeah. Uh, can't? Oh, like, I was able to a minute ago, and now I can't. Oh, because I I I said her name. That's why. Um. All right. I'll have to just throw. I'll just have to throw you guys it. This is, um, of course, her gear is not. Uh, her she does not have her gear, or armor, or anything. All she has is a short sword right now. Boom! There you go. Yeah, there. Now you got it. Yeah, I clicked on the journal line, not the uh, controller line. Yeah. Leon so, McDuff. Uh, 
which way was the training area? Uh, oh, south and yeah. south. She all she knows it was kind of southwest of here. Okay. Do we want to go south? Maybe look for more gear and stuff, or do we just want to keep going north? Um, uh, depending on where you guys go in this cavern, depending on if we can get through all of it tonight, because it is a big cavern, obviously. Uh, so. Let's just put it up to a vote. I vote south. South? North. South sounds good. <laughs> All right, that's three votes south. Mark's outvoted. And if you, Mark was outvoted. If you want, you guys want to go south. Go south, then. No stone unturned. Kobolds are like bunnies. <laughs> are they? <laughs> yeah. Well, Much like no, goblins, no. they they multiply. They don't reproduce. They multiply. As I'm going to start getting down this way, I'm starting to see some weird stuff over here. Hmm. Uh, hold it right there, guys. Uh, who's in the front? Reese? Mm -hmm. Reese is in the front. All right. From the left... There was a kobold sitting yeah. down here. Yeah, okay. And he knew you were coming because he was watching. He heard the noise from earlier. He just took her down there. Yeah. Uh, he's going to crossbow bolt shoot you. I'm assuming a 24 hits. Yeah, yeah. there's not much I can do about that. Um, Oof. I could do something about it. Silvery barbs? Uh, silvery barbs? Maybe? No, no, I won't. All right. Uh, nine damage. Ow. Yeah, Maybe I should have. Max rolled on him. <laughs> Maybe I should have done something about it. All right. And it's a hand. It's a hand crossbow. So he's currently reloading. What would you like to do with him? Kill him. Uh, yeah. I don't like this guy. So let's see how he handles uh, hand axe to the face. <laughs> Throw my flaming hand axe. Uh, 22 would definitely hit. Yeah, that how's the damage? Yeah, it sinks a couple inches into his <laughs> skull. He did. <laughs> like a hot knife through butter. You got a lot better with the fire stuff. By the way, if you guys uh, did yeah. fill your stealth rolls, uh, that guy down there would have shot this crossbow at uh, this uh, ballista at you. Ooh. And I come over and pry my hand axe out of his face. Uh, you look over and there is... Oops. Wrong tool. There is a storage room over here. What well, looks to be a storage room. And what looks to be weapon racks in here? These are all weapon racks right here. Oh, wow. What kind Church. of weapons are we talking about? Uh, short swords, long swords, crossbows, nothing really crazy. Just basic stuff. Are they in like, uh, condition, though? Kobold condition. Kobold condition. Be... <laughs> fair, fair. I will take a kobold longbow, which I assume is a short bow for me. Uh, they don't have any longbows. All they have is short uh, is uh, hand crossbows. That's all they have. And are the hand crossbows big enough that I could reasonably use one? Uh, what's a hand crossbow normally? It's like a light, right? 
yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take take a hand crossbow and uh, some bolts. Yeah, go ahead and add it to your inventory. There's tons of bolts here. I'll also take a couple hand crossbows. Even if they're like in cold condition, I could probably fix them up. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let me just look up something real quick. Yeah, so you're, this is what you're called. You're in the armory. Um, and you actually do find Yinra's gear. Oh, there you go. Nick is going to ruffle, ru rustle through the pockets. <laughs> uh, nothing like a good. It's not grave robbing if he hasn't been buried yet. And Yinra's back to her normal look. I was going to say, like, no, he went through her pockets. <laughs> through Yinra's pockets? Yes. Mm. Mm. So, like, if there's any coin, he's taking that as compensation. <laughs> uh, make an investigation. See what you can find in them. Yeah, you find the money bag and you take it. As a natural <laughs> 20, for those of you listening at home. <laughs> yeah. Or in the car. Uh, that also means her AC goes back up to 15 again. And you, she also has uh, her uh, longbow. Yes. I, Reese is switching to shield mode. Because Al... Not that the shield actually would have helped with any of the things that have hit me so far. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys geared up. You got some cro hand crossbows and crossbow bolts. I'll say you found ten of them. Ten decent yeah. ones. Ten decent crossbow bolts? <clears throat> yep. Okay. All right. Uh, this oh. is... Let me pull this up here real quick. And I probably don't have any bolts. I just have the hand cross. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you guys walking, I'm assuming you're walking this way, right? Uh, I mean, I, yeah. Is that noticeably different? Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, this okay. pasture, this passageway straightens into a square walled cavern, some forty feet long, twenty feet wide. The floor is covered in iron. And the rocky ceiling stands about 10 feet high. Uh, beyond the iron floor, there's a passageway turns back into rough stone and then turns north. So at the end of this, it kind of turns up this way. That looks like a trap door. I don't, yeah, trust, I don't, I don't trust any of that. That definitely looks like a trap. Well, listen, I am from the mountains. This isn't mountain. <laughs> well, if you want to make an investigation, see if it's trapped, go ahead. Can we just send the uh, mercenary across? She's like, what? No. That's right. Can Nick just no. chuck a rock at it? No. Yeah, you can check a rock on. You can check a rock on top of the iron. Yes. All right. Throw, you throw a, you throw a rock on top noise, of the iron. You hear? Noise. You hear? King, 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 king. Nothing happens. There's a lot of noise though. Hmm. I mean, they already know we're here, so it's not like that's going to change anything. I mean, if it's a door, could Nick open it with thaumaturgy? I'm still going to investigate it, at least. Uh, that's oh, a 18. That uh, is a... No, that is not an 18. That is a 21. Okay, so you, this is iron, so obviously it's an iron floor. You guys saw that it is grooved in the center and bisects lengthways. Uh, you do notice that it looks like there's a bit of a pressure plates in the middle of it uh, that seems to be, and you need a, a certain amount of weight to actually trigger it. 
It is definitely trapped. Okay, the trap's right there. But you know, you do know that the trap is uh, there's a trap here. There's a double double trap here. And there's another trap right here. Okay, I will use. Um... I can use cursed digitation to mark the ones that are dropped. Sorry, what are you oh. gonna do? I'll just press the digitation though, or minor my, minor illusion and press the digitation to mark the ones that are trapped, so that people don't step on them. Okay. Thanks, <clears throat> mark the trap. Uh, you do no, you do note that along here seems to be not trapped. You can go along the out top wall here. Okay. Yeah. Just make sure you stick to that wall, guys. Wow, that's uh, easy enough. I suppose they needed uh, to also pass through here. And he I'm didn't listen good. at all. Yeah, Reese didn't listen I mean, at all to you. Listen, you said you said you marked all the trains, right? He says before moving further. <laughs> you know, okay, yeah. Before Reese, before Reese has the chance, I'll rush through. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Reese, make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, yeah, Reese is being careful, hugging the wall. Um, make a dexterity saving throw, bud. <laughs> I, she did point. We did point out that this wall around here was completely clear. <laughs> hmm. All right. You uh, got this, now buddy. You got, now you got to follow that with a strength saving throw. Now, <laughs> see if you can catch yourself before you fall in. Oh God! Uh, let's, use a, let's use an inspiration for this. Twenty-three. Oh, buddy. Yeah, 23 saves you as the doors open up and underneath you. And Marco's not going yet. Uh, you do see uh, this. A pool of reef sharks are underneath the trap doors of this iron, iron looks like an iron cage almost. Hmm. Can't say that. How's it down there? Are the doors open now? Uh, these doors right here are open. The ones these two, looks like actual doors are open. <laughs> okay. Uh, and and uh, who's this back here? That's Yenra. Uh, I continue. So give me a hand. Along this way. Yeah. Okay. Close. So I'm going to come back here and drag this guy back over here. Are you serious? And put him right there. And then as a bonus action. Okay, hold I'm on, gonna... hold on, hold on. Let me see this here. That's why I asked for her help. Oh, she's going to help you? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a strength check. See if you can actually drag his body all the way over there. I'll roll it for her too. Um, if not, I'll just use my uh, telekinetic and just push him five feet at a time. Well, there's a time limit. That's why I'm asking. Oh, okay. So what do you need? Strength? Strength. Okay. Uh, check. Yep. Just a strength uh, or athletics check. Uh, let's see. Athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. You're, you're carrying a body. <laughs> I'm dragging. I'm not carrying. dragging. Well, there's not much dexterity yeah. to dragging a body. <laughs> You're still yanking something. <laughs> eh, not that great. Yeah, I'm helping. Um, after a few seconds, we get about partway there, and the door shuts. Okay, the door. It fine. does. It does. No, on the notes, the door is on a timer. Okay. So, can we get the body here? I mean, yeah, you can put the body here. I mean, it's just... Okay, so... Well, put the body, the body on the doors and have it open? No, once the body's there, I'm going to telekinetic shove it over the doors. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, it's going to trigger. It's going to trigger the trap, and you're going to feed the fish down there. I don't care. It's a kobold. What do I care? All right, kobold yeah. thrashes and they get eaten. All right, now I depart. Reese uh, has just been slowly climbing along the side. Oh, was... All right, one second, guys. Let me just set up something real quick. You could have died. Ah! What was that? Sharks. Oh, seriously? Yeah, I don't even know how they got them. They are—they aren't native to the mountains. I—they had to have imported these sharks. You've never heard of mountain sharks? I'm heard from the mountains, and I've never heard of mountain sharks. No. Wow. I've never heard of someone who's never heard of mountain sharks. <laughs> I mean, where are you finding them? They're very good. They're very tasty. And we um, don't have any mountain not, sharks up in Thailand. You have not tried space sharks if you think mountain sharks are tasty. <laughs> space sharks. Space. Uh, before All we right. go any further, yeah, before Reese is going to... <laughs> yeah, before we go further... The DM has to do stuff, and Reese is going to cast a spell. Oh, Reese is going to cast a spell. spell. All right. What are you going to do? Armor of Agathus. Oh, okay. Good one. Good one. I Yeah, I took a big hit. I want, I want some hit points. <clears throat> okay. So as you guys are walking up here, you do see uh, this person over here. Someone's going to freeze over. See, this person is standing right here. Uh oh. Kind of in a little bit of a training air, training ring. It's kind of his arms crossed, staring down at you. They are def you're vis visibly drow. And probably know we're here. Yes. You, you know, kind of threw a rock on a bunch of metal. They definitely know you're here. So he, he kind of has his arm crossed. He goes, y'all not supposed to be in here. Neither are you, technically. And yet, here we are. Oh, I'm what? very comfortable in my home here. I'm sorry. What brings a crane oh, this far into the empire? None of your damn business. Mm. He's that friendly. No, apparently not. I've lived with it. Well, I haven't lived with them, but I've definitely passed through Rosona a couple times. This guy's just a douche already. I I haven't been up to I haven't searched for him yet. Uh, I have a question for you. Have you heard the name Rosewater? Not familiar to me, though I don't care. Hmm. Eh. Then I uh, don't care about you. Sounds good to me. And we're they're here gonna for... shoot. They're gonna raise their crossbow and they're gonna shoot you. I've got my shield up. They miss actually. And as he shoots at you, these kobolds come popping out of their little hidey holes. Bring it. Kill. And we'll pop up the initiative. Oh, let me. Oh, well, it's still there. Uh, Clear. Yep. Yeah. Hey, go ahead and roll initiative. Yeah. Big numbers. We can get rid of this now. Oh, good. Oh, God, I was still drawing. No wonder that. I couldn't. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Wow, well, twice in a row. Man, y'all rolling good for this. Okie dokie. Um, Reese, you're up first with a 20. Yes, I am. Um... Well, first, let's uh, start with the obvious. I'm going to rage. Okay. 
Okay. And then, ah, Lady Kai, you 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 can handle just being a frontliner, right? <laughs> uh, this guy looks the most dangerous so I'm taking him down first okay Warhammer time 20 uh, I forget to set this up uh, 20 is going to be a hit Cool. He takes 14 damage. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah, that's uh that's gonna be a good hit on him. That'll be my turn. Alright. Okay. How much damage you did? 14? 14. Okay, yeah. Uh at the end of your turn. Kobolds are up next with a roll of 16. Why does it do that every time? I don't understand. Um, All right. It like doubles it when I type it in manually. It's so weird. That is odd. All right. Let's see you run past. So these two kobolds are going to run at you. These two are going to run it. down towards Nick. All right, so these are three swings. These are lesser kobolds. These guys only have daggers. All right. So, boom, 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 boom. Uh, so 22 and 21 to hit. On Reese? On, on Reese. Uh, both hit. All right. First one does three damage. The second one does six damage. The yep. first one. So the first one, it does one takes one damage off of my armor of Agathus, and it takes five cold damage. Okay, so that one is actually dead from that. Uh, and then the second one, you said it did six. It takes three off my armor of Agathus, and it takes five cold damage. And then that one's dead too. And I still have armor of Agathus. What? This is so. Yeah, it's a great spell. I still... This is the power of rage. Did you forget to roll for Yenra? Oh, yeah, Yenra. Oh, yeah, we didn't roll for Yenra. Um... Let me do that real quick, Kyo. Yeah. Oh, pfft. she actually went before them. Oh, now. Uh, wait, that was a 21 for her, right? Yeah. Yeah, that would have gone before me. Before you, yeah. So, we'll, well, she's in the back, so just for... We'll come back to it. Just for circumstance, we're just gonna have her do a long bow shot at the first kobold in the front there. See that he was running up and she shot him. Uh, let's see. Uh, why can't I just? There we go. That's gonna be a hit for that. But doesn't do the. Okay, that that kobold's dead. <laughs> And then yeah, I'm switching result. between like I'm switching between like five different screens, guys. So bear with me. Or three different screens. Um, right. So that would be her turn. Uh, the last kobold coming up here after Nick. Still got one kobold coming at you, Nick. Yay! You do not get advantage now because their friend died. It's still a fifteen to hit though. How? That just hits. Yeah. All right. For oof, six damage. Ouch. Yeah, max rolled on a D four. <laughs> and that is the kobold's turn. I don't know why it keeps doubling it every time. I just don't understand why it does that. 
Uh, brr, 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 going back here. Uh, Nick's up. Okay. He is going to take out his freshly strung violin, play a little tune before casting Thunder Wave. Oh. Thunder Wave on a single kobold. Yes. On, on a single weaker kobold. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He took that stab personally. Fair. That's fair. I believe you can hear that from a distance of 300 feet away, right? Yep. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I think now, I think you basically just alerted the entire place. Let me just double check. Yeah. Everybody knows you're here now. So it's amplified. Ooh. What can I say? I am an attention seeker. <laughs> okay, well, all four kobolds are dead, and we're not even through round one yet. Nick, you yeah, do have a bonus action if you want. <laughs> he is going to hop over here, and he is going to use Healing Word. Uh, that would be a second level spell. No, that's that's a first. Oh no, because thunder waves. Uh, thunder waves a spell, so. Oh shoot! Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Never mind. That's okay. That'll have to be it then. Okay, Marco's up. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna try to work my way over here. Work and... my way. Let's see how far and I should have plenty of room for that. Uh, yeah, 60 feet. I'm sure I got. I'm going to try to ray of frost that guy. Yeah, yeah. You got your range. 21. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay. Oh. Nickel and diamond. I don't think I rolled anything over a three today. All right. Anything else? Do a bonus action of nothing. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move right here just to get out the way. All right. It is the Drow's turn. The Drow will Can't stab me. Nope. He's going to bonus action disengage. Mm, coward. He's gonna run up here. Unlock... Hey, hey, don't forget. Hold on. Don't forget. He has ten feet less movement. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Shoot, hold on. 5, 10, 15. He has 10 feet less movement, huh? Uh, yeah, I could post Ray of Frost if you like. Oh, that changes everything. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> that changes everything. Yeah, that is a nice oh. little. Alright, he's gonna Okay, he's still gonna disengage. Why he doesn't want to be in melee with the guy that did fourteen damage? Now with armor that gets on you not. <laughs> He's going to take cover this way. He's going to shoot another crossbow bolt at you. Uh, 15 to hit. Oh, wow. Two, Who are we hitting? Two Nick. Know. Oh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay. Um, burr, 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 burr. You take 
Oof. You take eight damage. Ouch. And I need to make a constitution statement throw. Oh, no. Uh Uh-oh. Fourteen? You feel the bolt hit you in the shoulder, and you feel, oof, like pulse of it after it gets into your system of poison, but you manage to shrug it off, and you're not poisoned. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you're like down to one hit point, right? Yep. It's okay, we have potions. We're fine. Ow. We're fine. You. Alright, so that was He's gonna try walking away here. That's his turn. Lady Kai's up. Okay. Um, he kinda, he went out of your vision. You can't see him from there. 30 feet of movement. You can see him now. <laughs> okay. Light his um, ass up. See, I'm to... fire. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I want to simply. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go the extra mile and teleport into right in front of him. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And go, and go first up. Oh, boy. What booming blade? Yes. yes. Um. Work out, work out, work out. It didn't work out. No, unfortunately, that's a miss. Well, I'm here. That's my turn. <laughs> yes, you definitely are there. Uh, Yinra is up, actually. Per into position. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. There you go. Right there. Get a shot at him. It's going to say, this is going to teach you from pay interrogating back. me. And unfortunately, what? misses in the process. Reese is up. Uh, yeah, Reese is gonna run, maybe even jump a little bit, and just scream, <coughs> stay away from my friends, as he brings down the hammer. Okay. Have a time. That is a... Whiffs with a hammer. <laughs> that is a 12 whiff. Flanking, and uh, I deal... Still misses. <laughs> I deal 13 damage to the ground. Okay. <laughs> it's a rock round. I mean, it didn't do much to it. <laughs> yep. Scared the hell out of him, though. <laughs> uh, uh, that's fine. Kobolds are not here anymore. I don't know why their numbers keep doubling every time. I know, it's crazy. I, know. I do know why, but it, we can deal with that later. Yeah, I'll, we'll deal with it later. All right, Nick's up. Taking that particular attack very personally. Yeah, they they hit they they max rolled that uh, crossbow hit. Is there a crossbow like right with this cobalt? Uh, no, actually, yeah. they have slings. Oh, he's gonna kick the little cobalt and be like, "Oh, useless!" I'm just gonna. Yeah, unfortunately, they just have little, like, hand slings with pebbles. <laughs> Here. Uh, he's going to stabby stab. Sixteen? Sixteen is a hit. For seven points. He can't be... He's got to be close, if not dead. He exactly 
so how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Sweet victory. He is going to run up and just stab him right in the gut. He takes another gun. He doubles down to his knees, holding your sword into his abdomen. He looks back up at you and he's like, I'm just the ambassador. And then crumbles down to the ground. He dies. He is going to push the blade in just a little further with his foot. Consider this the negotiation. <laughs> Not a very good ambassador, huh? Shouldn't so, have shot me. Now that you're in this sir. training room area, you look around, there are uh, several wooden training dummies uh, lining this uh, outside area right here. Uh, they look pretty beaten up and recently used by the uh, kobolds for training like that. Um, there is... Uh, this whole entire area in the middle here is very is covered in sand because it's easier to move around on sand a little bit just to help with the training of the legs. Um, and several uh, pretty battered uh, weapons are lining the weapon racks over here. They are very much not in good condition at all. They're, all the swords are pretty blunt and uh, there's also a bunch of shields that are pretty broken. Ah, uh, potion time. Yeah, Nick chugged a potion. If I was stronger, I'd carry all these weapons and just melt them down and make better ones, but... Um... I'm already, like, pretty much encumbered. Yeah. I, uh... Uh... Yeah. So, uh, anyone else? How long does armor of Agathis, in... How long does armor of Agathis last? An hour. <laughs> of course, it does. Oh, yes. Continue on. Right. So, is is no one? I was a bit in the moment there, but um. Does anyone else see this ice on me? I don't. I don't really know what's going on with that. So you're using magic and don't know that you're using magic. I mean, I kind of got that it was magic. I just I don't know how I did it. Actually, it don't on for you uh, specifically, uh, Reese. It's not ice. It's actually a. Kind of like a molten, almost uh, lava-ish kind of a look to it. Ooh, but it's still is it still cold damage? It, it, I mean, we can flavor it fire damage if you'd like. I, I mean, it, it, cold. Can, it can be it can be frost flame. Okay, we can do it that way too. Yeah, icy hot. I see how. <laughs> hey, as a bonus. That's action. amazing. <laughs> so, so you didn't uh, like the words you said, the movements you made, involuntary I, or? Well, and I look down at my hand, and there's a ring on my hand. I'm like, is this ring always here? Mm hmm Oh yeah, you've always had that oh. ring. Yeah, I've always had it. I, I guess I've never noticed it. Uh, yeah, no, this just, just kind of felt with, kind of felt like the ring was guiding me. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Yeah, you're definitely possessed. Well, don't tell me that. But you just had a ring. Make you move in a specific way and cast magic that you previously couldn't. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't worry about it. 
Right. I mean, it, it was helpful, right? Very much so. I do appreciate the chat and all y'all getting to know each other, but can we please get out of this place? I really don't like it so much. And there's no point in um, mine to check out. Can we... Nick is going to loot the drow body. Uh, go ahead and make an investigation on the yow body. Yow? Drow body. Yow! Okay. Hello, everybody. I am Saber Wolf. Unfortunately, due to a medical incident that happened during our uh, cast, we had to stop early. So we're going to pause it right there. Um, the only thing to update from that from before is that Nick did uh, search uh, the drow's body and was able to find... Uh, 30 gold and a whole set of keys that seems to be maybe the keys to this entire facility. Once again, I'm Saber Wolf. Thank you for watching Friday Night Dice. Now we were off on Friday, uh, next Friday, because it is uh, Thanksgiving holiday weekend. But we'll be back on December 1st, so again, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on Saber Wolf Gaming. It's 2 M's in Gaming. Also, we are available on YouTube, on Saber Wolf 18, and Spotify. Just search Friday Night Dice. Hope you have a good night. Bye bye.